here on an island that's been untouched by mankind for millions of years, dinosaurs still roam. In this story, we'll be following one of the biggest carnivorous dinosaurs in the world, the Spinosaurus. This female Spinosaurus has lost her mate due to two Giganotosauruses. She's looking for a place to nest. Not because she's gonna get a new mate, but because she's already carrying eggs. She has found a place. Half of it is in the sun, and the other half is in the shade of a ginormous ancient tree. She begins to dig, knowing that this place will be perfect. Her long, sharp claws make digging easy for her, and because of her brute strength. She needs this nest to be perfect, otherwise the eggs won't hatch that well. So she's digging. And digging. Making sure that it will be perfect for her hatchlings. And digging. The nest is now complete. She just inspects it a bit, making sure. And she seems to like it. So, she goes off to hunt. Nearby, the female finds a river, so where she can drink and teach her young to hunt. She's very thirsty, obviously, from building her nest, and hungry. But she smells trouble. Out of the blue comes a male Tyrannosaurus Rex. <sighs> the female knows better than to mingle with him. This is his side of the river. And if he sees any other dinosaurs coming near, especially Spinosaurus, he won't mind attacking them. The female backs off because she knows how dangerous male Tyrannosaurus Rexes can be. The male doesn't attack her. He's thirsty. He looks at the Spinosaurus and walks off. The female watches until he's out of sight. Then she goes back to drinking. She knows he'll be trouble for her young and her. She just doesn't know when he'll attack, though. The female can't worry about that now. She has to lay her eggs right now. She goes back home. Luckily, she arrives in the nick of time, too, because she's just about to lay them. So, she backs up, and she's about to lay her eggs. There's one. There's two. And finally, there's the third one. The female turns around so she can see her young. She pushes them together in the center of the nest. So they don't overheat or get too cold. She covers them up with dirt. This is going to be a big responsibility of hers. And she knows she's going to have to watch for predators. Such as the male Tyrannosaurus Rex. He's been watching the female Spinosaurus ever since she's left the river. And he knows what baby Spinosauruses mean. Trouble. Once the female leaves the nest, he thinks, I'll have them in my jaws. And he walks off.